Okay, so should get that at 150 to get hunting dogs in a house. Let it overgo a little bit there, but it's fine. Um, just gonna get hunting dogs a little bit later than I wanted. I'm not gonna take too many treasures. You really want to make sure all your vills are gathering in range of the granary. Um, that'll let you uh, make sure you H up in time. So as much as you can do that, it's good. Um, Herding's a little tricky. Gonna go for the stick. Sending two bill, one Abon. So the goal here is uh, once you do the kind of standard Ethiopia opening where you, you get your hunting upgrade and you build your house for one cow, you're gonna send your two bill, one Abon, and instead of having the Abon just standing around doing nothing, um, you're gonna have them gather immediately by selling another cow to get uh, a mountain monastery. That's why this is the early mountain monastery. These guys want to go to some random place. Bump into everything, of course. Um, so there, we got our Abon. We're going to sell another cow. And we're going to build a monastery. I'm not going to try to take too many influential treasures here just because I want to make this work for everyone regardless of the treasures you have. Um, sometimes you can age with 15 vills if you get good food treasures, but usually you're going to be going with uh, 16. And being a little late on that hunting dogs meant that I'm probably going to have a little bit of TC idle time. Um, we'll see. So as soon as the monastery is built, switch it to full coin. Um, yeah, looks like we're going to have a tiny bit of idle time. That's okay. Gonna age up with the Sudanese. Um, can also go with the Somalis, depends on what units you want. Sudanese, better if you're facing a heavy infantry sieve. Somalis, better if you need some anti cav muskets or just a big musket mass. Gonna get, so here I'm gonna pause, tell you what we need. Uh, we need 430 wood, 400 coin, and 150 food. We've already spent 50 food on this. Uh, wood upgrade, we're just going to get 100 more to queue a vill before we age up. And then we're going to build a house, which is going to use 100 of the 430 wood, and then we're going to gather for the rest. And that's going to get us set up for H2. Uh, the point here is that you're going to be able to make units out of two buildings immediately when you age up to have enough uh, either defense to go to H3 or to turn it into an H2 timing push. So let's see if we can do it. Got a coin treasure, I'm gonna make sure I transition off that a little bit. And I'm pretty much good on food at this point. So I got my villain queue. Well I think we're fine. So since I built a house, we just need 330 wood, 400 coin. This land is ripe with treasures that belong to Emperor Guatemoc. Um, 
we're getting close. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna put a few on food just to make sure things are all make it easier to age. And I should probably be hurting, um, kind of letting things slide. Okay, right before we age, so now we're gonna talk about what we gotta do when we hit up. Um, you gotta do eight things at once, which is kind of the most difficult part of the strat. You gotta build your native embassy, build the second mountain monastery from your um, wagon, queue two abbons, uh, spending 300 or 400 coin, set the gather point for the mountain monastery to itself, we already did that, set the mountain monastery to 50-50 influence coin, gotta research the second hunting upgrade in the granary, um, send 700 wood, task a villager to the 400 influence on the floor, uh, build your war camp and task your bills all back to food. Uh, so it all happens all at once. It's good to, right before you age up, to just put a vill idle by the TC and that'll reduce one of the steps because he'll just start gathering the influence immediately. So let's see if we can make this happen. I think we have enough wood. We can take them all off of wood and put them on food. We're about to have enough coin, so I'm going to just take everything off and put it on, put it on food. So let's, let's go for it. Huh. Yep, and then send 700. That's very important to get that in quick. Q2 of those, get the hunting upgrade. Embassy, coin mo non monastery, um, drop barracks. Yeah, Q another vill. We're gathering the influence. Did I miss something? <laughs> I'll switch that over. And then Q this dervish now as soon as we can. on food there. Uh, so I think, we're, I think we're doing good here. We should be able to get um, five dervishes out and then start gathering this wood when it drops. Get our Geskenya in queue. Get that going. Next we're gonna send um, influence followed by cannoneers. So cannoneers cost 500 influence, so you're gonna to wanna to use only 200 of that on more dervishes. Uh, make sure you have enough for the cannoneers. You're getting more influence from the monastery though, so you can, you, can, you don't have to worry super hard about calculating it perfectly. Uh, we're gonna to need to build a house as well. Right there, and we got idols. Build a house. Yeah, you want to do some herding, maybe get another granary down here. Cue another Gaskenya. So, this is kind of it. Um, you can see you've got good wood income here now because of um, that 700 wood is really nice. Look at that, it did. Yeah. And you've got good influence coming in from your um, from your ovens. Get that going. Yeah, Q a few of these again. So you can from here pretty much do whatever you want. I mean, you can keep massing Gaskenya and dervishes. You can also let's see. That probably will work if I do another batch of five. Or what you can do is you can uh, transition to three. So I'm going to show uh, going gasket, uh, going for the cannoneers, and then we'll we'll talk about going to three after. As you can see, I've got a pretty decent sized mass around seven minutes here, and I have 500 influence to send the cannoneers now, and I can get another house. Kind of because I have to talk. It's sort of let things like hurting slide a little bit, but you won't be talking when you do this. I can also start turning the, the coin from the ovens into um, more cows at this point if I want. Um, but now I'm just uh, asking maybe I'll sell this at this point now. Get more um, Gaskenias. Just imagining we're going for an H2 timing here. 
Um, and maybe I'll now start to transition a few bills over to wood just to keep a little wood so I can keep the batches and the houses coming because my cows are not um, charged up right now. So here we go. And I've got my units. Cannoneers are really strong. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's all I'm gonna talk about for now. Um, I think it's a strong opening. And it's a optimal way to play Ethiopia from the start. That gives you a lot of options. So what we could have done instead of sending cannoneers, um, or even instead of sending 700 influence, is if you want to just go up to H3, you can just go 700 coin after, and you can use the coin. You, you see, we had about 300 coin which let me train these three cows. Um, you can just stack that and send 700 coin and, and H up. Um, and then go from there, play H3, switch into Javelin Cav, um, send, send our horsemen. I've taken the mortar out of my deck because I really feel like it's just too slow um, and not usually worth it. Um, okay, thanks for watching.